This is calculator question number one from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a linear equation and asks us to solve for x. If you have not already tried this question, pause the video for a minute, work it through, and then come back and watch my answer. I have a shortcut that will help a little on this question and a lot on other calculator questions on the SAT. I will be posting a playlist of similar videos from the SAT practice book from College Board but I don't have those up yet, but once they're available, I'll post a link to that in the description. So let's take a look at this. Anytime I have an equation with only one variable, on the calculator section, I'll go to y equals, enter the left side in y1, remember to use parentheses appropriately, 1 over 2 x minus 1 over 6 x. And that's my y1, y2, is 1. So I put the left side in y1, the right side in y2. Looking at the answer choices, the x value has to be between negative 4 and positive 6. So I use zoom 6 for the standard window. And the graph looks something like this. Find the point of intersection. Second trace on the TI-83 or 84. Choice 5 is intersect hit enter three times, and it says x equals 3, y equals 1. The x-coordinate at the point of intersection is the variable when you solve for the equation that only has one variable. So the correct answer is x equals 3. Always read the question carefully because in many cases they'll ask for something like y or find 3x or something like that. So make sure you're answering the question they're asking. But this is a very fast, easy, low-risk way of finding the answer anytime you have an equation with only one variable. And that comes, off, comes up often on later problems. But let's do this algebraically also because this is supposed to be dealing with math. If I have 1 half x minus 1 sixth x equals 1, I'm not fond of fractions. It's easy to make a careless error. So let's multiply by the least common multiple of 2 and 6, which is 6. If I multiply the left by 6, I have to multiply the right by 6. 6 times 1 half is 6 over 2 is 3 times x. 6 times negative 1 6 x is negative 6 over 6 x, which is negative x. So 3x minus x equals 1 times 6 is 6. 3x minus 1x simplifies to 2x, and 2x is equal to 6. To get x by itself, since it's multiplied by 2, I'll divide both sides by 2. So x equals 6 over 2, which is 3. I got the same answer. The algebra is not hard on this one, but it's worth practicing that calculator skill, even if you got this right, and even if the algebra is easy, because there will be harder problems where putting the left side in y1 and the right side in y2 will find the solution much more easily than we can with algebra. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.